Welcome to another installment of Comparative Reasoning. I'm your host, Cedric Kennedy. And today, you know, I'm, I'm going to do a small, you know, just explain what was going on behind the scenes and stuff uh, a little bit and include what what's happening today. And I'm going to try to cover it all in a very brief amount of time. But yeah, three by a tree by a three K society as the topic of this one. So let me get back to a uh, comment under black man hanged in tree debunking police media uh, mendacity. Um, so Sunny Secular Gen Xa, she says, this is the third hanging two in California and one in New York. There's also another person missing in California. They found his car running and nobody in it. Um, and I didn't know that. So I told her I was going to do a very short video on what you just said to what I was doing looking for this. And that's what I'm doing. So when I learned about the hanging, that was when I saw uh, Graveyard Shift and whatnot. I saw the title. I didn't watch the video. I just saw the title. So I went looking. And so when I went looking, it was a, there was a mention of New York, but up under it, it mentioned L.A. So I thought it was the New York Times reporting on what happened in L.A. Even though it said, in New York, man hanged L.A. Uh, uh, in Los Angeles, and it just flowed like that. And so there's two in L.A., or at least near it, and then you've got the one in New York, and one of them that I was trying to refer to uh, wasn't even really one of those. It was actually the one last year around March or whatnot where this 12-year-old kid was hung by these um, older teenage white boys. And the black kid was trying to be their friend and just hang around them. And they hung him. Okay. Okay heard nothing happened to them boys at all so this happens here now I need this this um please just bear with me okay because I I, I just don't really do want to do a really long one but this is all stemming from when I said that the protests are over okay the protests they're practically over anyone out there just getting their kicks and their jollies and they're just chilling and they just want to find something to videotape and whatnot. And then you got those black people that are trying to hang on to it. But when you got white people that came out in droves and then they realize, well, ain't nothing here going to change anything. I might as well go on home. That's what happened. They, they, they're they going home. And you got some that are protesting in the street still only because they don't want to be told what to do. But they're no longer doing it because of, you know, Black Lives Matter. They're not doing it because of, of, of the atrocities committed by the police department. They're doing it on the atrocities committed by the police department currently, not after all this time. And it needs to stop in the future. So the protests, they're practically done. The people that went out there and did it for the lulls, the laughter, the fun, the togetherness is done. They killed it. Pretty much what happened to pro wrestling. It was great until all the fun people got into it. Now, when you got the whole, um, this whole thing dealing with what happened about the hangings, why did no one report on it? I mean, 12 days, 15 days, more than zero minutes. The police didn't want to say anything. They didn't want to do anything. The police have been taken off the street. So when you take the police off the street, you kill a lot of the steam of the protest people start going home and then you've got this going on so why would nothing be said about it why brush it under the rug because you brush it under the rug then it can't stir a new found vigor in within the protest and now it's like well just black people hung and you know white people are starting to understand this is a daily thing but now you got this happening they're hanging black people in trees. They're lynching them. And police and government officials, the people you vote for, Democrat, Republican, there are they are all 
covering it up. They're brushing it under the rug, and that's it. That's what's happening. And if they keep doing that, then you will not be able to stir or stoke the fires that are slowly dying out. And it's also allowing vigilantism. So these could be cops doing it. It could be some, some triple K people doing it. It could be a mixture because, you know, if you're not in blue, you're under the hood, you know. So it's, it's, it's just that. That's, that's what is going on. I'm not going to say maybe seems like appears. No, that's what's happening. They don't want to stoke the fires. They want it all to subside because once the the riots, the protests subside, then it can go back to white versus black, apathetic versus people who are fed up. And is the virus real or not? And all that and, and focus on the lockdown more than anything else. So that's what's happening. I wish it wasn't. If you got comments and whatnot, let me know. You know, I read my comments, all this other stuff. Cedric, Cedric Kennedy, Comparative Reasoning, as always, from the heart, truly, thank you for listening.